Brian Fallon. He's a real pro. Fred Sands is a policy, but he's in the budget. Department. I know. Let's square around here. Right. I don't know how much Trent's going to miss you and all that you've meant to him up there and to us down here. Thank you, but wish you well. All right. Thank you, sir. Your new adventure. Keep at it. Okay. Thank you. Congressman Don Sundquist? Yes. Hi. How are, how are you, sir? Good. 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 Get over here and right. Kelly Cash, Miss yes. America. Hi, nice to meet you. So well, good to nice finally you. meet you. I brought some of my family too. Yes. This my is mom. Well, hi. Nice hi. to meet you. Dad's at sea right now. I know. And I'm my brother Karen. Well, we appreciate you so much. And all of you, I know why father isn't here. The USS Fibron too. Right. The Mediterranean. Right. Right. Yeah. He would country. love to be but here. But he called this morning and said, is it still on? Is it still on? Well, we said, yes, yes, he did. He well, said, and as a family, we pray for you, just regular, very committed Christians. And I just want you to well, know that you're you. always in our prayers every day. Well, thank you very We're much. very proud of what you have done for our country. Yeah. As a military family, delighted. Well, and we are behind you. Thank you very <laughs> much. Well, now, we've had some group photos here. Would you oh, like to have yeah. one alone? Then we'll have a family photo. Yes, of course. All right. <laughs> Get out of your way here. All right. And okay, mom in. and brother? And you know something? Well, I think you no. ought to be in this. No, no, let, let, let well, let's go see. Right. How about if I put you and put me in my mom? Is that all right? Oh, that would be wonderful. <laughs> Nancy, we will make sure you get your good up. side. <laughs> Thank you. Well, here, you have something for And I can. Uh, I can understand where you got what made you miss America. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's another I'll look back for one day. It'll be yeah. great. <laughs> Mr. Berger, uh, I, I had an essay contest at my high school, and I, uh, I thought you might l like a copy of it. It's, uh, we all, it was all in the title, This Is My Country and Yours Too. And he and, won. And I he won. won. He so I just would like to be in It's very short. Thank you very, very short. much. Sorry, okay. He got in a fight with another football player, not a fight. No. <laughs> it, 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 in battle. In battle. <laughs> Well, what you Defensive tackle and center. Go both ways. Offensive and defense. Yeah. So I played right guard. Yep. And uh, did it when you play it both ways. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it on the defense way best. I love defense. That's it. That's but they, uh, they changed it now. You're supposed to put your hands on the man and push, aren't you? Yes, sir. You know, did you, did you ever know what the rules were when I was in? I know they were quite different, but I'm not quite well, sure. You could hit with the heel of your hand so long as you did not do it on the face. So my target, my first charge on defense, was for that part of the helmet. <laughs> that was my first charge. And I remember I played against a guy named George Muso, who outweighed me 100 pounds. Oh my gosh. And uh, he was eight years all pro tackle mm. the Chicago Bears. Wow. And yet, on that charge, yeah. <laughs> uh, even that kind of a guy's head is turned and he stops for a moment and you get your knee through and <laughs> yes, sir. break through, break through. That's great. Right. That was right, great. <laughs> We're glad that you weren't a fantastic football pro player because we, we liked you as president. <laughs> we wouldn't have you a football star. <laughs> We'd rather have you here than out with the Chicago Bears. <laughs> well, listen, it's great to see you all. All right. All right. We're grateful for your for your time, Mr. President. We certainly are. Yes, we are. This is the conflict that has been doing this. This is the best. This is the best that America has to offer. Right? No, I, I don't think I've aged too much. <laughs> right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dad. God bless you. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you very much. Tell your wife that we we think about her. You're talking to writing to your father. Please give him my best okay. and my thanks for what they're doing for us. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Oh, yes, and I know. But the mistake in the briefing paper, yeah. he didn't hold the crowd in 1984 for three hours. It was 1980. Was it 1980? You haven't been three hours late for anything since you've been president, let alone <laughs> one hour. And I remember that stop. You were way late in 1980, and I had him double checked. It was 1980. I think that's the same thing also, which the guy that kept yelling things down there, and I finally said, shut up. Oh, was. That was Congressman Duncan Hunter. Yes, hi. Mr. President. Hi. Pleasure to see, see you. you. Good to see you. This yeah. is this is Sam, my little boy, who was 
not around when my older boy uh, Dunk got to meet you a couple years ago. Nice to see you. In 1984, when you finished your campaign in San Diego, Shotgun Tom Kelly kept the crowd going for two hours, along with the Osmonds and, and Wayne Newton, waiting for you to show up. I thought it was three and hours. It was about three. And I promised him, I said, well, can I meet the president? I said, anything, Tom, and the Secret Service came along and took him right off the stage. So he's been waiting for this time to, well, to meet you. Say, Tom Mr. Kelly. Well, Pleasure. Thank you. And I have this campaign hat that I want to give you. I wanted to give it to you. This is made by the Stetson Hat Company. And I wear it, I've wore it for about 20 years on my television radio shows on KFMB and on Channel 51 and Channel 10. And I wanted you to have a, a copy of it. And yep. All right. Well, I had it. That's great. And I wore one of these for real for a time. Is that right? I was a reserve officer in the cavalry. And there's nothing like You know, my dad was too. Yep. He still got his, his certificate of training at Monterey, I think. The Stetson Hat Company said that uh, this is the, uh, you've got all sorts of their hats, but you don't have this one. No, I don't. It is a little different. We didn't have, have this. Right. Uh -huh. And it, the one we had, it came from underneath. So sh uh, should we have one more or what? Uh -huh. Oh, I've I gotten it. <laughs> oh, did you? Let, let me get one with the president and shotgun, too. Okay. All right. In fact, and then let me get one with Sam. I really okay. appreciate this, Mr. President. Well, all right. Listen, I appreciate what what you did and for me and in oh, it was well, it worked. before 1980. It you worked know, in 1984. You know, Come amazing, on over here. Sam, you want a picture with the president? Yeah. Come here. <laughs> you got that? Okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks very much. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. And uh, it's amazing you, when you, you, you don't make a mistake when you're speaking. Of course, I. I look for that, being a fellow broadcaster. <laughs> so. uh, Tom is worth uh, KFMB and Channel 51 in right. San Diego. He's been an institution for years in our show business. And well, I have a radio background myself. My long-term time endurance contest only took minutes as a sports announcer, but I set a world record. Yeah. You've we, about this? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I have. What's the, what's I was the, broadcasting a major league ball game by telegraphic report. <laughs> right. tied, up, tied up in the ninth inning, Cubs and Cards. And I saw the, my fellow on the other side of the window start typing with the slip, and so I started a ball on the way to the plate. Wind up, here comes the pitch. I said, the wire's going dead. <laughs> well, I took a gamble, ninth inning. I stayed there, I had him followed off, of course. I had a ball on the way to the plate. And I looked, and he didn't know what was going to happen, so I had Billy Jurgis foul off another one. And I had him foul one that missed me in a home run by a foot. And I had him back a third and described the two kids that got in a fight over the ball and so forth. <laughs> this went on till I set a world record that I think still stands for a man hitting successive foul balls. <laughs> when the wire got fixed and they sent the slip through to me, I started to laugh because it said Jurgis popped out on the first ball pitch. <laughs> Did you use the bat for the uh, sound Same effect? No, I never, used, I never used sound effects. I knew that because I had to keep saying telegraphic report. There was no sense in trying Let to... Let me get one more reason. just be distracted. So I just... Recreated. You know, I sat next to uh, to uh, your brother Neil and his wife, and I says, "How's everything with Rancho Bernardo?" Well, of course, it's Rancho Santa Fe. You know, <laughs> they said probably very good. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you. I hope you enjoy that. And, I will. Uh, that will I've had a the ranch with me in just a couple of weeks. Oh, great! Yes. It, was, it was made about three years ago. But uh, thank you, right. Mr. President. I really appreciate well, it. My pleasure. All right. All right. Thank you. Very thank you. Sam rode his first horse yesterday, Mr. President, named hey. Jr. But he renamed him Freckles. <laughs> That a boy. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, there's one thing as an old horse that I tell you, don't marry your first horse. There'll always be others coming along. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you again. Great really to appreciate you. it. Good to see you. And I was going to give it to Ed Meese. Ed was going to give it to you. This this app, this is a, like when you first came into office. So it's been quite a I'm sure glad I had a chance to give it to you. Well, yes. thank you. Okay. Nice okay. Adios. Adios. Thank you for the photo. Yeah. Thanks so much. All right. Rock and roll. Yeah. Why not? Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Got some fine folks here. Yes. Say hello there. there. Just send them. Well, nice mm. to see you. See you. My goodness. Those aren't stamps. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> hello there. See you. See you. Oh, come on. How are you? Now, what they 
these are, Mr. President, that there are Idaho wildlife stands. One is a waterfowl scene and the other is an upland game bird scene. Then the, the smaller piece, the limited edition print from which the stamp is made, comes out of the larger picture. Beautiful. Yeah. And it's quite a, it's quite a time for, for Idaho. Yes, it is. The anniversary of Fish and Game and the 100th right. anniversary of the state. Right. You might try that out for size. <laughs> 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 that's not bad. We got one of the other hey. stands as well. Well, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> and just to prove that we do things upright, and those are made in Idaho too. Yeah. So are the belt buckles. Well, for heaven's sakes. Yeah. I won't put that on right now. No, you don't have done that. Too. <laughs> hey, that's just great. Well, thank you sure. very much. I'm Good pleased to have those on. Magnificent. Those will be on the way to the ranch with you. Sure. What? Right. Right. Very good. Wear those buckles when you ride your horse. Not many. <laughs> yeah. Stick the buckles in that oh. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. I also brought you an honorary membership in Pheasants Forever. Well, thank you. Do you, want, you want to have him hold <clears throat> one of these up? Can, <clears throat> can you? Yes, that's great. Right there. All right. You want to hold that and sure. that's great. Right. What about the little one that's hidden there? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even look at That's what it is. I'll get a hold of it. There, I got it. I got it now. Sure. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going home loaded. <laughs> well, we want you to. Until you get to Idaho and see the real thing. That's right. Right. Well, again, thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Shirley. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Take these up here by the desk. All right. Thank you. <coughs> Hi, Rudy. How are you? Fine. 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 Thank you. This, this is June. to meet you. I know what you're doing and I think it is a really great thing to do, but you really overwhelmed me with 32,000 of the 58,000 trees planted already. <laughs> 35,000. 35,000. This was in yesterday's uh, Sunday St. Paul paper showing the living memorials at Jefferson Planting. And this tree here that was planted was for a vet who just died recently in Minnesota here. It was, uh, I do suicide prevention for Vietnam vets and also for teens. That's why I promote the Constitution. Um, I see it as something I've walked through with the, the suicide and different things the way I hurt for years. And I see that with the kids today. We had one in 10 teens in Minnesota attempt suicide. And I've been promoting with even flags and also with uh, parade folks this year, the Constitution. Um, that's why I felt it was really important to, to see if we can get the consciousness of the people, the awareness that they fly the flag. That's officially licensed flag for five years. And our governor's going to let us put a copy of the Constitution in the Capitol there. Um, you know, someone trying to are you planting trees all in one place, like a grove? Or? All over. All all over. Yeah, oh. we'll take some. 100 acres. Yeah. Take some trees out. So. But, but pretty much on, in, in one uh, location. In, on there's the some in the woods and there's some. Uh, on the fields. Right. So in 30 years, when you go there, it's going to yeah. be a nice forest. Yeah. Well, 12 years, they'll be on the size of strong. Well, I think that's wonderful. Uh, it, gives the, it gives the guys, I get calls from people from all over the nation, Vietnam vets and others that are hurting, and it gives them a, a sense, you know, that, hey, I'm doing something yeah. besides doing the suicide prevention when I can. Um, I, I don't know, somebody cared enough to keep me alive. and, and uh, did you I, want to give the press? Yes, and I just read this. You wanted to give that mm -hmm. book. I work at a nursing home, so I he work, he said, June works at a nursing home. <laughs> and the administrator, okay, he wrote this. I thought it was a cookbook, but he wrote this, and it's from him and the residents. It's just poetry. Well, and they send their greetings. They well, off. thank you very much. I would also like to give you this Bible. It's a commemorative edition from the Constitution. It's written well, special, you. and that's what the Constitution is built on. Really
Thank and you it has a copy much. of the Constitution in there and also on the front it talks about it. Uh, if I could read this, it's, um, it's truly an honor and a privilege to meet you, sir, Mr. President. I am a Vietnam veteran and proud to have served my country. I believe in this great country of ours and in our Constitution. We are still a one nation under God. Only 5% of our nation's homes has a copy of the Constitution. I've been promoting the Constitution for the past year with parades and sitting in fairs with uh, the flag and Constitution. Also, the official license flag to be flown for five years. I believe in this cause. Also, for yet another reason, because of the teen suicide in our nation. Like in Minnesota, one in teen, teens last year attempted suicide, and it's tragic. Um, they, like the Vietnam veterans, I believe, feel like they don't belong or have a sense of not belonging. The Constitution, which our veterans fought for, can give people a foundation to stand on and a sense of worth and belonging. I pray that America will promote the, the teaching of the Constitution in their schools and homes. Our state of Minnesota has a commission promoting the teaching in schools. They also provide the materials for the schools for each grade level. I pray that the other states will follow what our Governor Rudy Perpich has formed. The Constitution flag is the only licensed flag to be flown under our U.S. flag for the five-year celebration. I'd like to, to uh, honor your, you, President Reagan, with the official flag and ask that uh, we fly it at our nation's capital along with every state following suit for the five-year period. And uh, then I also would like to show you the type of the Constitution that, that we've been promoting. This, this shows that it's licensed to be flown for five years by the, by the commission. And there's, I don't think that uh, I have seen this uh, flag. We have, them, we have them in, I've been getting them in a lot of towns in Minnesota to fly them, mm -hmm. putting them up over courthouses and VFWs, and I tell them this is what our veterans fought for is our mm -hmm. constitution. That's great. And uh, I feel it's important that, uh, that just maybe get this here. And then I also have a uh, little desk set. I, I have a POW flag, but I'll have to mail that. I didn't uh, like to present for your, for your desk. Thank you very much. And I would like to ask from you if there's a possibility that, uh, that we could have you sign one or two. We'd like to put one in our capital. Would, I can put these things down. Which, uh, of the Constitution. Yeah. Okay. On your desk, uh, President? Where? Oh, no. yeah. Where do you want those signs? Wherever, I don't know. All right. What's my name? Yeah. Uh, our governor's going to allow us to put it in the Capitol there. Uh, they don't even have a copy. Yeah. Can you sign two? One for me for my home? Yes. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <coughs> You may have one of these, as a matter of fact. I know, but I'd like to get one too. It's, uh -huh. it's large and much blown up from the original. Uh -huh. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Yes, we thank you for your time. Jack and June. And they have done night. a great deal in Minnesota. We had a dinner here for the Crown Prince and his wife, a princess of Japan. And at our table, there, uh, we got to talking about the Constitution at our table.